retain products of conception. And I'm really glad that I get to give this talk because this is something that drives a lot of people crazy, not just radiologists, but the gynecologists and obstetricians as well. And so I get to do how I do it, which might not be how you and your group have decided to do it, but I hope I'm gonna leave you with a few pearls that you can go back to discuss with your referring clinicians. So I have no disclosures pertinent to this presentation. And what I'm going to hopefully answer today is um, how we assess why there might be pain or bleeding postpartum, a discussion of how you should deal with the obstetrician who says, well, I was in there during that C-section. There's no way there's still placenta. Um, if there's lots of flow, how to figure out if it's an RPOC or ABM, and hopefully I'll convince you to get rid of that term ABM when you're dealing postpartum. And then um, the myometrium's thin in a patient with retained products. How do you tell if it's an accreta or how do you assess if it's an invasive mole? So frequently we start out with a transabdominal scan. Um, now if patients have had C-section, they might have a big uh, dressing on their abdomen. And since you're going to probably go to transvaginal anyway, there's no reason to remove that dressing. Um, but we do take images transabdominally just to make sure we're not missing anything large. And you can frequently see heterogeneous contents within the endometrial cavity. And so the question is, is this blood products or is it retained products? And when you do a vaginal scan, this is a retroflex uterus, you can see there's heterogeneous material here. We turn on color and you can actually see some of the flow going into this placental tissue. And then clearly it's placental tissue. 